show us and the No! It's 2018! No! You filthy raisin! Sorry, I meant racist. Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2 HPM Heart of Darkness. Guess what guys, today we're going to go ahead and do something that everyone keeps requesting but really isn't um, acceptable anymore in the current climate of satirical content. Also, for those asking when I'll be on the Oxcan Jingle Jam, boom! 11th and 12th, I will be on there with Bo, Remy, Sibs, Lewis, p Flag. Loads of people are going to be there. We're going to do some Hoi 4. If you want to see that, go to the Oxcan Twitch channel on those times. Those are UK times, by the way, and I'll, I'll see you there. Raise some money for charity. Uh, I can't wait for the uh, inevitable Kotaku article on this one. Leave a like to get me out of the Fort Police prison. <laughs> Just kidding. I love it in here. So obviously if you've read the title, you understand what's happening here and you, you need to know that I, I'm taking this very seriously and I won't squander on any historical basis and make any sort of very lewd and inappropriate jokes. Slavery's bad, okay? That's why I'm just gonna equally enslave everyone. Everyone in the world. Not just specific people. Especially you, Mexico. You got quite a bit of land I'm gonna wanna take before I become a... Uh, my next form. Now, not that I support this, but I do need to extend slavery so that every state flips with me to the CSA when the Civil War breaks out, but it's not because I like doing it. Guys, I'm not racist! The yeah, problem is with the whole slavery thing, uh, it does really get get on people's nerves just a little bit, so we're gonna have quite a few revolt- Oh, those damn Mexicans refusing to give us all of their land for free? How- UN AMERICAN! Yeah, got Oregon as well, which is pretty good. Uh, don't mind all the rebels and the war with the Mexicans, so I'm sure everything's gonna be fine for America. There you go, there's, there's the Mexicans dealt with. And we, we need to make sure that all of the land we take off of them now flips to the CSA, who are we're gonna make the CSA really liberal. There, I'll make it up to you. Yeah, people really don't like this whole slavery thing. Uh, people are getting pretty angry at me, which means I can pass a ton of reforms though, which is going all right, even though this, this isn't gonna be my country when I leave. All right, I tell you what, I am slightly racist. I hate Mormons. What's the point? Uh, yeah, nothing like the famous Dixie Hazards. Oh god. Uh, making California a slave state just doesn't seem quite right, but uh, I, you, you've got to do what you've got to do. At this point, I'm basically just burning down the United States from within, so when I switch, I'm going to have an easier time, so why the hell not? I'm sorry, guys. Bit early for us to be revolting. We've still got another 10 years yet. I'm taking a look at the revolt risks for my country, and if you can't tell, the red areas mean everything is completely fine and everything's going to plan. It's not on fire. Everything's on fire. Speaking of everything being on fire, Germany's at war with France and Russia and it looks like they're losing. Uh, what the hell have you done, Germany? I I, I like I don't look at Europe for like a whole game and this happens. And why why the hell does Holstein still exist but you've got Schleswig? What is this bizarro world I'm looking at? Right now you've literally, you've got France's balls in your mouth now, Germany. I hope you're happy for your complete incompetence. Oh, well, it's that time, boys, and um, I, I've already looked at how big we are, and um, I feel like you guys are, are definitely just gonna, you're in for a, we're really quite big. And of course, uh, the Civil War has now kicked off, and we need to uh, kick those Yankees back north of the border, well, although north is also me, I own a lot of land. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit one-sided, just a little bit though. Like I've already wiped out the American army now. It's all gonna be conscripts after this, which means guys, we did it. We've won the war. Do, do you feel free with your states rights and slavery? Oh God, what have we done? Yeah, unfortunately we can't actually add any demands. We can only have a white piece with the US for now, but don't worry. I'm sure they will be back to inevitably declare war on me to try and retake their land, but I will be five times stronger by then. Oh, this does not feel patriotic in any way. Uh, meanwhile in Europe, things are still going absolutely balls up because now the Ottomans aren't actually gonna fall apart because France started it to keep them strong. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. I, we'll check back on that later. Meanwhile, I've, I've gotta get back to being Confederate slave man. Oh God. Oh, at least that makes sense. I'm led by a coalition of the liberal and anarcho-liberal parties. This world. Does not make sense? Okay, so slaves are actually really bad in Victoria too, because you can't tax them, which isn't very good. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and try and, you know, 
get rid of the whole slavery thing, which makes you wonder why we did this in the first place. Oh, well, like I said, here they come. Yeah, I definitely didn't leave the USA in the best of scenarios, considering uh, that they're already getting revolts as I just obliterated their army. I actually changed the way that this is going to work for us in the mod file, so that we will actually be able to annex all of America over time, instead of just being able to annex a few of it maybe by the end of the game. Uh, otherwise, th this would be a bit boring, I won't lie. Although I am still surprised I'm getting basically on par the same amounts of immigrants as America is. Uh, I, I feel like the whole slavery thing might turn people off, but apparently not. Destroyed America so hard they've turned communist. <laughs> Yeah, that whole slavery thing was kind of why we broke free from America in the first place, and now we don't really want it. Um, we, we just don't want it. So what was, what was the whole point, honestly? That's right, it's because I hate the colour blue, and I want my entire country to be a nice shade of light on the eyes grey, and I think that grey should be further north of the border. God damn you Americans and your disgusting... Shade of blue! Oh, hell yeah, brother! Grey gang, roll up! Oh, and finally I'm a great power. That took so goddamn long. Well, time to start mopping up. Oh my god, there's actually an event for the submarine that the Confederates made. I, why is it only just been here? Why didn't I get it during the actual Civil War when this happened? Oh god, I, I'm literally just butchering America at this point. It looks disgusting. You know what, the Confederates, we made some, we made a hell of a lot of mistakes in the past, but we're gonna remedy them by doing everything right now. In the name of socialism. That doesn't sound very Confederate. Oh god, that definitely doesn't sound very Confederate. <laughs> Well, zippity zoppity, your land is now indeed my property! Right, so we got most of America down now to the more liberal part of the country, and uh, they're just stuck over here in this one state, but we'll, we'll get to them eventually. A surprise, no one actually went ahead and annexed Hawaii, so welcome to the CSA! I hope you love socialism, communism, and just being free. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. You know, I don't think the confederate communists should really be in Canada. Now this is epic! Oh, and there goes the rest of America into the people's confederacy of COMMUNISM! Europe actually managed to sort itself out for the most part though. Germany reformed, Italy formed, Austria-Hungary still hanging on, and Africa doesn't look that bad. It's definitely looked worse in the past, but that's probably because I've not been messing around with it, but there's still a little few things that maybe we could, you know, fix for them. Of, of course, it's the damn Danish that invent the fascists as well. You know what they say, no better time for a good old purge. So I know the Dutch have the sewers, and uh, I just feel like that could be under better management. Oh! <laughs> Welcome, brother! They'll even fight the Dutch for me. Well, aren't you a team player? Ah. Uh, and Mexico wants to humiliate Sweden. <laughs> okay, Mexico. Oh my god, they'll actually accept as well. The Mexicans are in Sweden. Huh. I can also actually dismantle the Dutch, even though it's not a great war. I, I thought you could only do that in great wars, but apparently not. And with the Dutch dismantled, that means I can eat up the rest of their empire that just broke free. All in the name of communism, though, obviously. Uh, oh, no, what do you... Really? Oh, god. Sure, I guess I'll help. This is actually incredibly easy. I thought the Japanese might put up more of a fight, but I'm smashing them. Oh, and the Soviets white peace before I could add any demands. God damn it, Mr. Who would it be? Lenin? Lenin! Don't mind if I have a small pit stop in China? Yeah, uh, having a late game war with China is hilarious because their units quite literally melt against your armies. It's not, it, it, it actually feels a little bit, it just kind of makes me feel a little bit sick to what I'm doing to the Chinese here. Like when I created the great communist states of the Confederacy, I, I wasn't thinking this is what I'd be doing. I, I don't, I don't think this is good for the cause, guys. Oh, and the Soviets just invited me to a great war while I was trying to install communism in Indonesia. What have you done? Oh, and immediately my, my country's just getting flooded with Canadians. Yeah, it's not really a balanced Great War, I'd say, when the Soviets, Germany, France, and America is all on the same side. What do I say that? Looking at the Soviets in Siberia right now, it's just it's just getting flooded by like small stacks of Japanese troops. But while they're busy with that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a sneak attack on Tokyo. Yeah, kind of a lackluster Great War, I won't lie, uh, but I, I did take this chunk of goddamn Japan. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but sure. Oh, um, because I dismantled Britain as well. India just looks 
so goddamn disgusting. I even have little provinces everywhere in there too. Oh, uh, anyway, I'm looking around the world now, and I, th I think it's definitely time we called it here. Um, I, I didn't really manage to do anything crazy, but forming the Confederacy in itself and making it communist, I guess, is in, in its own regards crazy. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you leave a like and the subscribe button and all that. And uh, if you've got any more crazy suggestions, feel free to let me know down below. And everyone keeps saying play Texas, but goddammit, it's just not possible.